Growing up, The Brady Bunch was just one of those shows that always seemed to be on in my home. My sister Valerie was a big fan, and while I wasn't the rabid fan of the show that she was, I always found hanging out with the Brady family to be a pleasant experience. And while all of the cast members were great, I have to admit that I thought that the kids were the best. Maybe it's because I was a kid and they were kids, I don't know. Sometimes you don't have to have a reason. And of all of the kids, I've got to confess that way back then, I was kind of partial to Marcia. Yep, I've got to admit it, it might have even been a bit of a crush. Maureen McCormick may have been a few years older than me, but she was definitely my favorite Brady girl. Marcia, Marcia, Marcia! I know, I know, Jan, and I'm so sorry. If it's any consolation, this is going to happen in the not-too-distant future. Even though the original Brady Bunch TV series was canceled in 1974, through the magic of syndication as well as numerous revivals, the Bradys were ever-present throughout the 70s. As I look at the cover of this edition of Dynamite magazine, I am reminded of the awful and yet somehow equally wonderful, amazing variety show that heralded the Brady family's first return to live action episodic television after their initial cancellation. To the hustle! It's the all new Brady Bunch with guest stars Lee Majors, Farrah Fawcett Majors, Captain Cool and the Kongs, Ann B. Davis, and Rip Taylor. From the producers of Donnie and Marie, it's the Brady Bunch Hour. Sunday at 7 on ABC. A couple of years after the Brady Bunch Variety Hour, Maureen showed up in this little movie. Because of Takedown, I actually tried out for my junior high's wrestling team. Here I am. By the way, I was a horrible wrestler. Way worse than the ragtag group of athletes that were featured in this low-budget, independent film that was made right here in my home state of Utah. Just go get him. Anyway, getting back to Maureen, during the late 70s and early 80s, she always seemed to be popping up as a guest star on one show or another. Aside from all the Brady Bunch stuff, I remember her on programs like Love Boat, Fantasy Island, and Vegas. But what I didn't know at the time was that Maureen was actually up for a role in one of my all-time favorite movies. Yeah, we're talking about Raiders of the Lost Ark. Now, I'm not sure what role Maureen was auditioning for. Something tells me that it probably wasn't Marion Ravenwood. And it probably wasn't this girl either. What I do know is that whatever the role was that Maureen was auditioning for, the folks that were there in that audition room, yeah, they didn't like it. Maureen was struggling. She was not in top form when she showed up to audition for Raiders of the Lost Ark on that day so long ago. According to Maureen herself, she was out of control. She had become addicted to cocaine and quaaludes. In her best-selling book, Here's the Story, Maureen goes deep and tells all regarding her struggle that, while ultimately led to her triumph over the demons that plagued her, also made it extremely difficult to land roles, particularly during the early 80s. And one of those roles, one of those lost roles, was Raiders of the Lost Ark. Truthfully, we'll never know what could have been or better said, what should have been. Because Maureen, at that point in time, well, she simply wasn't capable of delivering the goods. Fortunately for her, during the 80s, Maureen met this feller, a gentleman by the name of Michael Cummings, who along with friends and family, well, he did his very best to help her get clean. And Michael had a bit of leverage on Maureen because, you see, the two of them were in love. That said, he told her in no uncertain terms that she had to make a decision. She had to make a choice. It was either drugs or him. She couldn't have both. The good news is that Maureen chose wisely. And the two of them are celebrating their 36th anniversary this year. By the way, if you have HGTV, you can see Maureen on the program A Very Brady Renovation, where she, along with her TV brothers and sisters, joined forces with the stars from that network to renovate the real-life Brady Bunch home in Los Angeles. And apparently, Maureen had so much fun on that show that, 
she stuck around. On Frozen in Time, she teams up with designer Dan Vickery to reimagine homes with styles that are stuck in the past. All right, now it's your turn. What do you think? Would you have liked to have seen Maureen in Raiders of the Lost Ark? Or do you think that the movie is perfectly cast as is, even without her presence? Let me know in the comments section, and while you're at it, I'd love a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video, and I would be absolutely honored if you would consider subscribing to my channel. I talk about music, movies, and mostly television from the 50s, 60s, 70s, and 80s. You know the good stuff. But most importantly, and as always, thank you so much for watching.